So good morning, good morning. I'm leaving Pletlesche and Slovenia and I think I have taken everything with me. Nothing left here, nothing left here. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we just have to pay and uh, get to the railway station. It's 20 minutes past 7 so, and the train leaves at 8.13, so in 50. Three minutes but I have to pay first and get there it's a few kilometers snow is a raw long travel day we'll see when I get home so this is Hotel Bojona and uh, we'll say goodbye today and here yes <laughs> and this I don't know your name Nika, Nika. yeah uh, it's easier yeah 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 Okay, so there's a lot of people on this train station and there's a lot of inside and it's hard to tell what platform we should be on. There's some people over there, but I don't see any signs or anything that says platform 1, 2, 3 or 4 or something like that. So, and uh, Nika is <laughs> so fun. I got a number. So if I come back here, I will call her and uh, maybe she has a place on her own. And she's mixing German, Italian, Slovenian. So all of a sudden in the car, she was talking German to me. And I was like, I sort of understood what she said. It's about these people that came in the middle of the night and didn't have booking and she had to drive them away to another place. Hello there. I'm off and my travel towards Stockholm has begun. Let's see how it works out. I've decided to not to stay in Munich. I will go to Rusen. Oh no, I have to check this. Uh, and we'll see if I'll be back in Stockholm tomorrow. Tomorrow at approximately one o'clock. We'll see. So here we are, this is my next train, I'm in Villach and I'm gonna be on this train for seven hours I think, going to Mannheim and then I'm gonna change to Mannheim and then going to Hamburg. So this is going all the way through Austria, so I'm in, I'm in Austria now. Så jag är i Salzburg och jag tänker inte gå av här. Det är helt galet. Mm. Okej, okay, så so I'm in Mannheim. And I'm actually gonna just stay here on this platform. Because there is my next train. And I saw on my app that it's uh, about five minutes late. It says on the app that it's very high demand, so hopefully I'll get a seat because I'm going to stay on the train until 10 o'clock. So it's for six, five hours. Well, well, what can you do? It's been going quite, quite, quite easy so far. I've been writing down like a long thing on the train vacation group on uh, Facebook. I'm writing down my experiences. So that takes a little while, I'm not finished yet. I'm coming to the end, so I'm gonna start writing about Pula. So I'm sort of at the end. Oh well, nice. Okay, so I am on the train to Hamburg, but there is a lot of people here and I just grabbed a seat. But unfortunately there is one who is getting on this train. It's a reservation from Frankfurt and that is a little less than an hour. So at that time I have to find somewhere else to sit. How exciting! Oh my god! We are half an hour late actually, but we're in Hamburg! 
Oh my god, I remember when I was here. I'm running this way to catch the night train to Augsburg. Now I have a little more time. It's 10 minutes past 10 and the train for Copenhagen, the night train, will leave in one and a half hour. It's 20 minutes to uh, 12, yeah. So I, I'm gonna get something to eat. Bye bye. And Hi. Uh, because you asked me. Okay, I'm gonna need. I'm uh, gonna get something to eat uh, and uh, well, and the things uh, uh, I uh, too strange. Uh, okay. One thing that I learned, uh, if, if, if it is a train that is so many people in, then it is better to fix a reservation because you have to find a seat where it says uh, non-reservation. And it's so totally fine. I, I only changed seats two times and then I could sit the whole time. But it's just easier if you, you have your, your seat. Okay, enough chat. I think I'm gonna have like something very easy to eat, like McDonald's or something like that. Burger King has here over the other side, or maybe they have it here as well. I'll uh, have to check. Well, I just thought that I had to get out, so it feels like I've actually been a little bit in Hamburg, because otherwise you've only been to the central station, the train station, and that doesn't count in my book. But um, now i actually seen some parts of Hamburg. I was here 90s, no, 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 95, 94, 95, 96, 97. No, 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 this was, uh, let's see, oh my God. Was this with Canada? No, it was 93, oh, uh, it was a long time ago. So I should go here again. I remember we went to a 4th July party with the, with the Cats Ensemble because uh, Nils was working with them. I don't remember where we stayed. We were pretty close to Reeperbahn. The, the, the theater was at Reeperbahn. And I remember some... I don't think it was a bridge. I think it was a, just a field house. Like <laughs> something like that. So now I can actually say that I've seen some parts of Hamburg. I'm trying to find somewhere that I can buy some sandwiches. I really don't know why, because I'm just going to survive the night. And now I'm full. When I get on the train tomorrow, I'm going to come to Malmö and then I'm going to go, go on Expo Tusen and, and there I can buy food on the train if I want to. So I don't know, but you know, you never know what happens because it's always nice to be prepared. So uh, you have something. If something happens, then they don't have any food. I don't know. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I just want to also say a few words about uh, Hamburg station. It's easy uh, to find the tracks because they are all laying like that, and and you can have a roller skates. Not. Uh, stairs that goes uh, uh, on both sides uh, but I think now during the night it is uh, a little dark inside so it feels a little you know darkish why why don't they lit it up like I think in, in Sweden because now it feels a little dark and little uh, scummit little little I just waiting for someone who comes comes to me and want to buy me some crack or, or hush or something like that. It ha hasn't happened yet, but uh, I, I'm pretty... It will... Now no, it happens. It happens now. It happens now. Well, I haven't slept so much. Uh, we couldn't take back the seats, uh, so we and it was really packed with people. 
but um, still okay. And there was a, a fast transfer in Copenhagen. I think we had like eight minutes, and uh, we were one or two minutes late. But um, no worries to get to the train. And now we're closing in on Malmo, and uh, I have a change. I think I have a little more time in Malmo. Oh, look here now. I'm Telenor, Sweden. I'm officially back home. But now I need to get on the internet to see what track the train will be on. It's not over until the, someone has signed. And I'm writing my last travel diary here. So this is the days that I've been traveling. This is the last day. And here are journey Stockholm to Copenhagen, Copenhagen to Röby, Röby to Hamburg, Hamburg to Augsburg, Augsburg to Fussen, Fussen to Bochlo, Bochlo to München, München to Verona, Verona to Venezia, Pula, Divace, Divasa, Ljubljana, Ljubljana, Bled, Bled, Villach, Villach, Mannheim, Mannheim, Hamburg, Hamburg, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Malmö, Malmö, Stockholm. <laughs> I just have to put down the time here. Ja, Stockholms södra. Och nu pratar jag svenska. You can't go all the way to the main central station because they are building new stuff. So, but this works for me. Now I have to take the bus to go home, but I'm officially back in my hometown, Stockholm, and it was on time. Oh my god, yeah. This is something I not usually do, get off at Stockholm Södra and then take bus number four for two stops and then changing to number three. I come, come really close to my flat. Now I'm really, really close to be uh, home. <laughs> My street. I think the first thing uh, I recorded was over there when I was walking. So appropriate to s finish it off now. The weather here is quite chilly and a little rain in the air. It's been a completely amazing four weeks seeing all these places and uh, some bucket list places as well. Uh, oh, do I remember my code? My bike is still here. I don't know what that is. That's new. And now I'm back at home. So just to make some conclusion. It's been four hectic weeks. Uh, I've done a lot. There's not been so many days that I've been uh, sleeping. Uh, it's been either going up early to catch a, a train or a bus or a ferry or there will be something I wanted to do early. But looking at the pictures now and, and trying to remember everything, it's been... Uh, I've, I've seen so many things and I've done at least, I should say, three bucket list things. Uh, going to Verona and also seeing the opera at uh, Ver v uh, Arena de Verona and go into Venice so yeah Dubrovnik is I, I, I can't say that Dubrovnik is a bucket list uh, but it could have been or, or uh, this is a sort of a must see town especially after Game of Thrones especially after Game of Thrones but uh, oh my god yeah for incredible weeks I'm so grateful that I uh, the opportunity and I can do this and uh, yeah just just to experience and uh, blah, blah, blah. and now we shall see if my souvenirs are in one piece and what kind of souvenirs did I did I buy because I don't remember them all I think and the key rings and see if the glass clock is uh, is whole is whole 
yeah. But um, signing off, and now the Interrail train loof is officially over. Over and out.